Hi Aquarius, um, for a general reading for the sign of Aquarius. My friends, welcome to this table. It is wonderful to have you. I'm su super excited to be doing the reading for Aquarius. Now Aquarius, um, I have already shuffled. I started the reading and then I looked up and I saw that the camera was not recording. And so um, I've already shuffled. So for those of you that don't like the shuffling, this is great news for you. For others of you that like the shuffling, I'm sorry. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just use these same cards. Um, before I begin, um, before I begin now, I would like to remind everyone that this is a general reading, that it will not resonate with everyone. It might only really fit with a few of you. Please remember that I am reaching up into a whole energy of consciousness of a group of people and that um, I advise you not to make any life decisions based on a general reading or even a personal reading for that for that matter. Um, but I ask you to please understand that this is a tool, that tarot is a tool in which you can receive guidance and it can help you think through things um, that are happening in your life. And um, this is part of the reason that I've taken some time off for me to find more understanding about the tool and how to use this tool of tarot. So um, I'm going to go ahead and start the reading now. I also want to remind you that there will be an extended reading after this. In the extended reading, we'll look at the people who are around you and um, their perspective of life and how this could really play into your situation. Um, and then we're going to take out the same scenario out three more waves of energy or three more phases of time. Um, one more reminder. Um, we have to remember that each of us are moving in a different way. And I think I found a way to say this that I feel good about. And the way to say this is we all have different natal charts. So there could be many different types of Aquarius is here. Um, sun signs, there could be moon signs, there's rising signs here, and there's people who are Aquarius Venus signs. So we have to realize that each one of these signs operate differently in our lives and that we're all built of different um personalities in different situations and um, we all have different natal charts so um we're all moving at different speeds that's what i want to say and when we say time is fluid um, that's a hard thing to understand i find that saying we're all built differently we're all moving through different types of situations we're all moving at different speeds because we're all made differently um, I find more resonance for myself to say that. Um, so I'm going to be more vague about the timing um, just because I understand that we're all built so differently. I have a Capricorn moon. I move much more slowly through this through a situation that somebody does that has an Aries moon. They're going to move through it more, much more dynamically than I am. So please have understanding about this. And it might be good for you to go out and check out. Just type free natal chart into a browser. And that can, if you can fill out the little form there, it can help you understand a little bit more about your own individual personality so that when you listen to readers, it can help you understand, okay, I might be a little behind this reading or I might have already gone through this energy. All right. Okay. That's enough. And let's see what's here for this group. Now I've already started this reading. So um, um, I will try to bring everything in it that I've already said. We start out with the Knight of Cups energy. The Knight of Cups energy is an energy of love. Um, it's an energy that is full of compassion. It's an energy that's an emotional energy. What is emotions to us? Emotions to us are how we feel, not what we're thinking, not what we're doing in life, not really even the world around us, but how we're feeling about all of that. How are we feeling about our thoughts? How are we feeling about our environments? How we're, how are we feeling about the spaces in which we live? How are we feeling about our work? It's about feelings, right? The Knight of Cups. There could be um, a love relationship here that you're in. For some of you, you could be entering into a love relationship or you could be moving forward in a love, in a, in a loving relationship. That is true. And there are some of you here that are going to say, yep, that's exactly right. I am in a love relationship and it is moving forward. For others of you, you're more moving forward and taking action in your life in a loving way towards yourself. You could be eating food that you know that your body needs and, and really finds, um, gets the most energy from. You could be understanding that sleep is important to you, or you could be understanding that um, the importance of the sun and having your feet on the ground and maybe going for a walk or seeing the nature around you. Whatever it is, you're moving forward in an energy of love. Um, 
it's an energy of compassion towards yourself. It's an energy of emotions. You could be feeling emotional right now. You could be, um, you could be crying more than you've ever cried before. That is also the Knight of Cups energy, but it's an energy in action. So you're taking action now. If there is a love offer here for you, or if there is um, a new awareness of your own self-fulfillment here with you, you're taking action in that way. So in some way, remember, there's a lot of life is full of many different energies and tarot only re really categorizes those action energies into four elements, emotions, action, belief, and our reality right? And so we have to remember that when we're talking about the Knight of Cups, it's not only about romantic love. For some of you, it is. But for others of us that are out there, um, maybe we're not in a romantic situation. Maybe we're single people. Maybe we are older and we've been with someone for a long time and that's not something we're interested in. Whatever this is, this is an energy of moving forward in a loving energy, either towards someone else or towards yourself. We have the moon here now. The moon talks about the unknown and it talks about your awareness that there is an unknown. How do you feel about the unknown? Well, you have two watery energies here. You have love energy moving forward in compassion and love for, for the world within you or the world around you. And then you have the moon energy, which is also an energy of internal, um, in internalizing how the unknown world feels about you. So you could have emotions here about what's to come. You could be afraid of what's to come, right? You could have some different options here and not really knowing how you're really going to step forward because you don't really know what's involved in those options. You could have two different choices here that you're trying to make. You could be entering a relationship, not really knowing what's going to happen right? You might be waiting to go out on a date with someone or waiting for an offer of love or something, but this is an energy that of love that you're in. So whatever this is, you, you have some awareness here that there is a future that is unknown for you. And you could be really worried because it's next to the nine of swords. You could be worried about that future. You could be worried about how things are really going to move. Maybe something feels out of control for you. I like that the Knight of Cups is here because that is one way that we can bring more stability in our life. If we can really dig down as Aquarius people where we really like to be in the mind, we like to be, we have, like to have clarity of our thoughts. We like to have plans. We like to have everything organized so that we can move forward because we have big ideas and we like to really use the mind. Sometimes it's harder to step into the heart. How are we feeling about this situation? Here you are in the heart and you're stepping into the unknown, which can be um, a very emotional time period. Aquarius, this tells me that this group of people have been through the gamut. You have been through the trenches. For you to be living in your heart center, this tells me that there's been something in your life that has forced you to move out of the mind and into the heart. This talks about um, when we do this, this talks about internal learning, learning about the self, finding wisdom about the self, really finding the answers within as well. Um, once we can sit in the emotions, we can listen to what the heart says, and we can merge that with the mind. And that's sometimes what the moon really feels like to me when the heart merges with the mind, right? The heart center is merging with the mind, making us realize that there is a future that is unknown to us, even though the brain wants to find it. The brain wants to reach out and pull everything together. The, the heart then, when it merges with the mind, it kind of brings this moon energy. Um, it is indeed a merging of the mind and the heart, I think, in this. Um, and, it, and it's really a, a, an acceptance here that you're stepping into the unknown. And we have this nine of swords here, which talks about worry. It talks about anxiety. It's talking about thoughts circling around within the head. Here is the heart and here is the mind. Again, we have this heart and mind connection here. So you could be going through some anxiety now in this period of time, Aquarius. This could be thoughts. You could have a lot of thoughts. Maybe before you, you just had one way of thinking, or you, maybe you had a quiet mind before. Maybe you've never really experienced these kinds of thoughts before, all these different thoughts going on. Maybe you haven't ever really dug so deep into the heart center before. And when you dug deep into the heart center, it made you really become aware of things that you hadn't been aware of before. Whatever this means, this is someone here, this is a group of people that are going through a transformation in their lives. Maybe not a transformation. Well, there's the Ace of Pentacles. 
Maybe not a transformation in the outer world, but definitely a transformation within. But now we have the Ace of Pentacles, Aquarius, and this is what I get excited about, Aquarius, because the Ace of Pentacles, if you've listened to me in the past, you know that recently and even today, I'm so excited to say this, I have a huge fad on the Ace of Pentacles. <laughs> I love the Ace of Pentacles right now, and it's probably part of my own um inner work that I'm doing on myself because I've realized, and I think many of you have realized, that's why you're in the Ace of Pentacles, to know that we can have all the ideas that we want, right? And I said this before to Aquarius, but I can see this group of people is moving forward, moving forward and finding success here because there is a reality here of some kind of improvement that's coming in for you, that you are realizing that there has been an improvement here either an, an improvement in finances, an improvement in how you feel about your home, because there is some kind of change that's occurred. Maybe that you have been making improvements on your home, or maybe there's something here that's be become a, a change in your life. You could have even entered into a relationship. You could have purchased a new home. You could have started to make more money. You could have started a business. You could have taken action a long time ago. And now you're starting to see money coming in from that. You're starting to see how it's really changing your life. And the Ace of Pentacles comes with a feeling of gratitude. It comes with a feeling of, of health. Um, because the Pentacles energy is, is taking care of oneself. Um, so there is a feeling now of, of new health. Um, of new stability in your life somehow. Um, and it's, and it's something that you are grateful for. It brings a feeling of gratefulness here, um, with this woman here, um, with the keys to her new home. I would assume this is a new home here that she has. Um, that, you know, green can be the feeling we're in the month of March for, for those of you who are, um, find some resonance with the Irish people. Um, this is a green, um, green to me signifies luck. I know that green has many other meanings for, for different things, but, um, there could even be some luck with this, or you could even be thinking, how could I have been so lucky? You know, that's what gratitude can do for us. If we pull it out of, of ourselves and we can see the world in a way that we can appreciate it, we can, we can, we can begin to see, well, that's what I've been doing anyway, um, which, which is, um, a, a refreshing thing to do, especially when we've been through struggle. We can say why this is such a beautiful thing that's happened to me. I, I just feel like, um, I, I am feeling like, why did this special thing occur to me? How, how did, how did it happen to me? You know, in some way or another, the Ace of Pentacles brings us that feeling. So it's a beautiful energy, Aquarius. That's why I, I did not want to reshuffle because, um, this, this is meant, this message is meant to go out to a group of Aquarius people. All right. Let's look what's going to happen in the next incoming period of time. Oh man, I messed these up. Okay, let me put these how they were. And that there's a light on and um, I can't really, there's a, too many lights here, but um, this card is gonna be a little shiny. Okay, this was here. And then we have, sorry, if this is a little disorganized, I realized that it wasn't, um, the camera wasn't recording and it really took me by surprise. I don't like it when it does that because I like the message to come out the first time, but um, I stopped it in time. So you're going to get a really good reading here, Aquarius. This was sideways. All right, here we go. All right, Aquarius, now we have the Four of Cups energy. Um, we have next to the Ten of Wands, next to the Knight of Swords, next to the Ten of Cups. Then we have the King of Cups, the Three of Cups, and the Page of Cups. Now, if we look at the different signs that we have here, um, we have the King of Cups, which is, could be a masculine Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. It can, there can be a Knight of Swords, which is a, um, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. <clears throat> Excuse me. So this is the Aquarius energy here. Um, and those are the other two signs. Over here with the Knight of Cups, I have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, I have Moon, which is Pisces. Yeah. And then I have a, an Earth energy. So we start off with the Four of Cups energy. The Four of Cups energy is an energy of, um, there's something here. Let's start with the King of Cups. Now, the King of Cups could be a person. So you could be dealing with a person. Um, 
the person could be a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. It doesn't have to be. The, the person, if you're dealing with a person, if this energy goes over the top of a person, this is somebody who has been in a very emotional place, somebody who lives from the emotions, um, big, big, but also understand that this person, if this is a person, has other important parts of their personality. What is their moon sign? What is their rising sign? What is their Venus sign? So um, the, these energies can be complicated. Oftentimes we want to just dash through these readings, but this person is a complicated person. Um, this person has been in an emotional place. This person is somebody who uh, feels the most healthy when they are taking action in their community, when they feel that their environments are um, nourishing and when they're feeling um, comfor comfortable in their environments, when they can be the best that they can be in the spaces that are around them. That's how this person finds um, the most fulfillment and finds the most happiness in life. Um, so this could be a person, but for many of you, this is your own self um, really being dissatisfied with the environment that's around you, um, really um, looking at the environment around you and not really knowing how to step into it. Maybe you've had some projects around you that have been looming. They've been feeling like they're so big, you can't handle it. And in, instead of stepping into it, you have been just waiting or, and resting and, and just knowing that at some time you're going to have the energy, the right time is going to come in, um, that you're going to be able to deal with this. Maybe you've had um, different people around you that you really haven't been happy with. Or maybe if you're looking for a, a loving relationship and haven't found it, um, you really haven't really um, found any kind of other personal energy around you that you feel happy with. Remember, this is a Four of Cups energy that you're in. And this is telling me that there has been a period of time when you have felt disenchanted, when you have felt discontented with the situations that have been around you. And it really is a feeling of not really knowing what to do, not really knowing how to take action. Here's a 10 of wands as well, next to the four of cups. So this has been, um, and, and the king of cups is an emotional energy and the four of cups is an emotional energy. So this has been difficult for you. I think you've been feeling like you don't really have control of this situation. Um, you've been doing things that maybe aren't um, yours to do with the Ten of Wands. Oftentimes you could be feeling like you're under someone else's control, that you don't have control of it. And it doesn't always have to be that someone else is controlling you. It could be that situations in your life are too big. You're carrying too many responsibilities. You, you're not really understanding, um, with the Ten of, before you get to the Ten of Wands. Um, you're not really understanding how to really step through this situation, how to put those wands down, how to step, how to open this door and step out of this hallway with this, with this 10 of wands, right? How do you get yourself out of the situation? So with the 10 of wands, it looks like you're really realizing now, okay, the way I step into this project is I'll do this thing first. Maybe you make a list of all the things that are bothering you and say, okay, here are all the things that are really bothering me. If I really get down to the truth of it, here is everything that's really bothering me. I'm going to make a list and oh, wow, now I've made a list. I can see there's only four things here that are really bothering you. Maybe there's seven or maybe there's 10. Right. And then you can say, OK, what's one thing I can do today? And then you just take that list and you say, OK, well, this is something I can do today. I can do that today. And why do I have this on my list? This is not really my concern. I'm going to take this list, this thing on my list, and I'm going to move it over and create a new column and say other people's concern. Right. This is my concern. This is other people's concern. And maybe take something that you thought was your concern. And for me, when I do this, I think, okay, is this something that I have any control about? If, is, if there is nothing I can do about this situation, maybe I can make a column that says nothing I can do about this and move this item over to another column. Maybe I can make a thing that says next month I'll do this. You know, it's organizing all of these wands that you're carrying, what's heavy on your shoulders, what's making you feel like life is not in your control, put it all down on a piece of paper. This is what I do anyway. Um, and really kind of, that's because I have a Capricorn moon. <laughs> maybe for others of you, you just, if you have a, a fire in your moon, maybe you just say, you know what, I'm going to do this thing today. And then tomorrow I'm going to deal with this next thing. Well, I have Capricorn, so I'm going to make all kinds of lists. That's what I do. 
right? So we're all so different, but that's just an idea. So if somehow you're able to remove some of these, um, this baggage that you've been carrying around that makes you feel so overweighted, right? So, um, so heavy with concern and heavy with responsibility. Overall, this, re- this, um, this three of cups energy is about creating a reunion energy, right? So as you move into the future, there is going to be a need here to create a reunion energy. Maybe you have a relationship here with someone um, that's been very emotional or you have been in an emotional relationship that's really been maybe out of control in some way. Um, And you're working now to bring some sort of um, even closure to this situation, closure to these issues, whatever they are. Um, I do think if this is a relationship, it's going to change in some way. It's going to adapt in some way. However that is for you, remember, these are general energies. Um, But it does look like you're focused on repairing this. You're focused on coming together as a group again or bringing the situation all back together again. Um, As you move forward with the Knight of Swords, this is an energy of expression. This is an energy of really finding the truth of this situation and coming forward and saying, this is how I feel about this. This is what I would like to do or these are my ideas. There is a need here, I think, for Aquarius people to understand how do they communicate? How is the best way for you to communicate? Is it in speaking it out? Is it in writing it down? Is it in making a video? How do you communicate best? And it's also not in words sometimes that we communicate. Sometimes we can communicate with how strong our eyes are, how strong our gazes are, how we really interact with the people around us. It's how we stand tall. It's how we carry ourselves. Are we carrying ourselves in a way that we can feel, feel dignity about who we are? Because each and every one of us are dignified people. We are all beautiful human beings one way or another. So it's how we carry ourselves, how we dress, how we feel about ourselves. That's also as an expression. And as we move forward, it's about learning how to express ourselves in the ways that make us, each and every one of us who are different, make us feel the most empowered, the most heard, and the most comfortable in our lives. So I see you moving forward here with some sort of expression. And this expression is going to be focused on bringing something into resolution here, bringing, resolving something, bringing some sort of reunion or a gathering back up energy um, in this message here. I also think that you're moving forward here this Knight of Swords and it's headed towards this Um, this King of Cups. So there's something that you're working on to fix in the environment around you to bring love and vitality back into your environment. Um, It's also here could be resolving something with a person here um, that could be a spouse, could be a romantic person, could be a boss at work, could be a coworker. Um, But again, this is a, a watery emotional energy. So as you come forward with this energy, we do have the page of cups here sideways, came in sideways, and I felt to keep it that way, um, a sideways energy here over the top of the of the Knight of Swords and over the top of the Ten of Cups. So um, I think as you move forward in the next incoming future with this new expression, your truth, the words that you have to say, the thoughts that you have about the situation, I think that it's bringing a new feeling of love. This could be a, even a message of love that you have, that you're being guided to 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 give to someone. Um, there is an energy here of being guided, um, being guided with your own thoughts, with your um, internal um, thinking, with your um your connection in with the divine energy or whatever brings you guidance, your your guidance system, your spiritual team. Um, something here is guiding you intuitively forward that you feel like in, intuitively within yourself, within your heart center, because remember, this is a heart energy. It comes from the heart center. There's something within you in your heart that you know that you would like to say. And I think that as you say it, you're going to be feeling inspired. You're going to be feeling like there's new inspiration here. There's new, there's a new feeling of love. There's new hope here that this situation is going to um, really bring in this happiness. And I do think that the Ten of Cups is here and the Ten of Cups is not sideways. It's not in reverse. It's in the upright. So I think as you end this period of time, this period of communication, however long it takes you to find this way of, of communicating and this way of creating um, a solution to this with the Three of Cups, 
Um, I think it's going to bring in a feeling of fulfillment, feeling of relief, even with the Ten of Cups, and definitely a feeling of happiness, a feeling of maybe being together again, either within your own self or with another person or within a group of people. So it's going to be a beautiful time period for you. I do think the Knight of Swords is going to take a little bit of energy um, for you to really kind of wrap your mind about what it is that what what your truth is but as you do that and as you express yourself in 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 your own truth you're going to see these energies around you really start to revitalize so it's a beautiful energy aquarius i love this so um let's go ahead and look at what the guidance is now for aquarius see this is why i didn't <laughs> Sometimes if I, if I feel like I've read too much into the reading and the camera doesn't record, I'll, I, I'll feel like I can't really do the reading again. Um, but it wasn't the case this time. And I just couldn't not bring this reading forward because it's just so beautiful. We have the world energy and the fool energy. So with the world energy, this is about, so remember, this is guidance now. So this is guidance that's coming through. The world energy is an energy of endings and new beginnings. And with endings, um, there are, um, endings could, could have happened a while ago, Like right? Sometimes we'll have an ending and sometimes it takes us a little while to get into the new beginning, right? Um, and just like a woman who's pregnant, um, she could be getting, she got pregnant at some point and she, she has to carry the baby nine months. And then there's a new beginning of a new baby. Um, in that period of time, she went through a transformation with her body, right? She, she thought she learned about herself as a different kind of a person. She learned that she could carry another soul, another body within her, right? That itself was an experience. So um, endings and new beginnings sometimes take some time. They don't just happen overnight. Um, some of us go through an ending and then it takes us quite a while before we can have a new beginning again. And there's an experience. This is what sometimes I say the hallway is. You can step out of one door um, and you you move through a hallway as you find the next door, right? And you can even have energy that trails behind you that stays in the old door. And so you have to kind of, it's almost like if you're in a long wedding dress, like um, a wedding dress that has a long, long ending to it. And I'm not even, don't even know clothes very well because um, I'm kind of a silly, simple person, silly sap. It's what I call myself sometimes. I don't even know what it's called. Um, when there's a wedding dress with a long, is it a tail? I don't even know. But sometimes those wedding dresses, if you see the, the fancy people, um, the wedding dresses can go on for quite some time. And so I'm imagining now a, a woman who's getting married and she has a very long train of, of material that goes out. And so as she steps out of the door of being a single person, this dress is going to linger and pull out of the doorway. If you can just think of that as energy that's around you, um, that dress is still in the old world because the ending of it is still in that old world. And then as she moves through the hallway and finds the next door, that's going to take her some time to find that next door and step through that next door. So the world energy can take some time. And we have to allow ourselves to really enjoy the experience of it. Um, but we do see that there's been some sort of transformation here with the world energy. Um, there's something new that's coming in for you, Aquarius. Um, I, I do feel like we're at the beginning of something here um, with the world energy. And then you have the fool, which is stepping out and doing something different. Um, there is a, a beautiful new beginning here with a fool energy. Um, it does have something to do with a key here that I see. This this gentleman has a key that he's holding out. I'm not sure why that door is up in the air um, and why he's trying to open a door that's up in the air. Um, but that's sometimes how it feels, isn't it, when we start something new that we're not sure why we're doing it. And it might even feel silly for us. We might feel very vulnerable. Um, I'm not sure why he doesn't have any pants on even. Like, why is he dressed like this? Well, that's sometimes how we feel. You know, when we step into a new room of a new group of people, maybe we're starting a new job and maybe you're stepping in to meet people and you're feeling like you're feeling different than everyone else. Or maybe you wore the cl different clothes than everyone else has on. Or maybe you feel like for some reason um, you don't have much to offer. This person has uh, just a small knapsack there as a fool. But we know that this person has a, a beautiful mind, a mind that's a treasure. So he has his full mind. He has his heart center here. He has his soul with him. He has a healthy body with him. So there's so, there's so much profound 
intense energy that he carries, um, that he sometimes when we enter into new situations, we forget who we are. We forget how beautiful we are. We forget what we carry within us. So even though you're, you might be feeling vulnerable and awkward, you might not be knowing what you're doing here. Why are you putting a key into the air and who even uses keys like this anymore? I'm not sure who uses keys like this. It doesn't matter. You're at the beginning of a new experience and sometimes we can just laugh at ourselves. I mean, I'm laughing at myself now, sometimes how silly I am about things. Um, and this puppy doesn't seem to be too concerned that they're on the edge of the cliff because it's an exciting feeling. Um, so I'm just talking about the excitement of something new, uh, the, the way we have to trust the system, we have to trust our spiritual team, we have to trust the universe, we have to trust our own capacities, our own mind, our own heart, our own soul. We have to trust our guidance and step out into something new. And yes, we might feel different than everyone else, but we also need to be reminded we have something different to offer. If we feel different than everyone else, remember, you have something different to offer. And maybe that's exactly why you're there is because you have something different to offer. That is Aquarius, my friend. So I'm going to leave the reading like that. And I'm going to look at the people who are around you now and their perspectives that they are having. And then we're going to take this scenario out three phases of time into the future. All right, my friends, thank you very much for being here. It's a pleasure to read for Aquarius again. Thank you.